Hello, my name is John Knutson. I'm the marketing manager for IBM's Kix Tools, and I'm going to show you how to create a plugin for the IBM Kix Explorer. This is a uh, new instance of Eclipse. I haven't used it before. I get the welcome page up by default, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to incorporate the Kix Explorer plugin software development kit into my development environment. So the first thing to do is I need to add a site, it's an archive, and I'm pointing at the CA1R zip file, the archive that you get from the, uh, the Kix Explorer um, support pack download site, and it's found all of these contents in here, and I'm going to select all of it, and I'm going to say install. And it takes a, uh, a few seconds, half a minute or so, to um, incorporate all of that into this Eclipse development environment. I've now got to say, yes, I want to uh, accept the terms and conditions. And I'll finish. Doing some more installation work. And now it's going to ask me to... Um, choose between restarting, Eclipse, or carrying on. You can often carry on, but uh, it's usually good practice to um, restart Eclipse. So now I've got my uh, Eclipse environment. It looks pretty much the same. So I'm going to File, New, Project. And I want to something from the plugin development environment and I want a plugin project so I select that click next I'm now going to give it a project name my view to spell it right my view next I can accept all of those next I'm now going to select a plugin wizard and next it gives me the option to have lots of different types of features in this plugin, but I just want a simple one, so I deselect everything apart from view. I'm going to change some of these names, change the class to my, change the view to my sample view, the category ID, leave that, and the category to my sample category. We'll see what effect these have later on. Now I can finish. I'm going to say yes, remember this action. I do want to use the plugin development perspective. Gives me a lot of value. So it um, starts off it effectively opening this file called plugin XML. It creates a lot of files in the, the file system. And um, what do I need to do? I need to look at the extensions tab, go to views, and there's the the view I've created, and there's the class I've created, and if I click on the class hyperlink, it will open the class file, which is buried in the source directory, I'll show you that later, and I'm going to select all of this and delete it, and then I'm going to uh, paste in, control V, the text the source code of the uh, the plugin I've created and posted onto the Kix Explorer forum. I'm going to save that with uh, Control S. Got a couple of errors. It um, it says the package name is wrong, so I need to change it to the one that I've associated uh, this view with. It says it can't find the uh, the import, so I need to add this to the model and then if I save that I should have what's on here I'm going to rename the class and that seems okay and now I don't seem to have any errors everything seems to be fine what I need to do now is if I go to this overview page there's a testing option and if I say launch an Eclipse application
it will launch um, everything I need based on just what I've defined that one little class so it's started it up uh, did it do that? maybe it didn't do it didn't click it properly that's it I didn't get it quite right so it's now launching my plugin launching a new instance of Eclipse and there we are, my sample view now this is the regular Kix Explorer view there's a um, there's a there's a plex, there's a set of regions when I select a region in the plex I get in my sample view some standard information the Apple ID, the total task count the total CPU time and uh, the delta task count so when I press the refresh button it tells me how many tasks ran since I last pressed the refresh button that's all my view does it's quite simple I'll show you the view in the view open view there's my sample category that's what I called it my sample view so I've already got it open so uh, that's it it's really easy that's how you create a plugin into the Kix Explorer Thank you for watching this, I hope you found it useful. For more details, visit ibm.com slash kicks slash explorer. You'll find a link to the support pack download site, which I used here. You'll also find a link to the Kicks Explorer forums on DeveloperWorks.